On today's episode of Menstrual Mastery, we're talking all about cycle tracking on hormonal birth control and why it just doesn't work. Quite often, I'll hear from women who tell me that they've just downloaded my cycle tracking starter guide and are excited to track the changes in their cycle. And I love hearing this. I am a huge fan for women everywhere knowing how to track their menstrual cycles. However, many times women will follow up with me to let me know that they're on hormonal birth control. And that's when I have to break the bad news to them. And that news is that you can't cycle track when you're on hormonal birth control. So in today's episode, we're going to cover why you can't cycle track on hormonal birth control. We're also going to cover what you can and should keep track of on hormonal birth control. And we'll cover the first three steps for transitioning off of hormonal birth control and learning how to track your cycle. Okay, let's get right to it. You're probably over there a little annoyed at me right now thinking, what the F, Brandy? What do you mean? I can't cycle track when I'm on hormonal birth control. And I hear you. And fear not, it is not because I'm being a hormonal birth control hater. In fact, there's a really simple, straightforward reason why you can't cycle track when you're on hormonal birth control. And that's because on hormonal birth control, you don't have a cycle. The only exception that I know to this is when a woman is on the hormonal IUD and having regular cyclical periods. For some women on the hormonal IUD, it allows them to continue ovulating. But for most, the IUD suppresses the cycle so much so that it prevents ovulation and therefore prevents you from having regular period. So generally speaking, for most women on hormonal birth control, definitely on the pill. And if you're on the IUD and you're not having cyclical regular periods, you don't have a cycle on that hormonal birth control because of how it works to prevent pregnancy. So hormonal birth control overrides your natural cyclical hormone production and introduces a flatlined hormonal state in order to prevent ovulation. Without ovulation, we won't experience the biphasic temperature pattern of low temps before ovulation and high temps afterwards. Hormonal birth control also takes away the cyclical changes we see in cervical fluid, replacing those shifts with thicker cervical fluid generally all throughout the cycle that makes it more difficult for sperm to move around. And so therefore by preventing ovulation, there is no egg to fertilize. And by thickening cervical fluid, sperm can't even get to the egg if there was one anyways. So essentially, you can't cycle track on hormonal birth control because, well, there's no cycle to track. Now, just because you can't use cycle tracking on hormonal birth control doesn't mean that there aren't things you can and should keep track of when you're using hormonal birth control. So a few of the things that I like clients on hormonal birth control to keep track of are bleeding. Because if you're on the pill and you are bleeding monthly with the placebo week to shed out your uterine lining, that's what we generally want to see taking place. So it's a good question to track and ask yourself, I'm on the pill. Am I bleeding every month when I take that placebo pill? If not, it's time to ask, what's going on? Why is the uterine lining not shedding itself during that time? Another bleeding related thing to track is, are you experiencing spotting or bleeding outside of the placebo pill week? And if so, again, it's time to ask what's going on. Another thing to keep track of while on hormonal birth control is uncomfortable symptoms even if they seem unrelated to birth control or hormonal health. So here I'm talking about things like digestion, skin and hair, sex drive, mental health, vaginal health, breast changes. These are all examples of areas of health where symptoms could absolutely be related 
to hormonal birth control. Some of the most common that I see in these uncomfortable symptoms in relationship to birth control tend to be bloating, constipation, thinning hair, low sex drive, anxiety, depression, yeast infections, and breast swelling. These can all be related back to hormonal birth control. That's not to say they always are, but they can be. And I've seen it in myself while I was on the pill and also in a lot of clients I work with. Sometimes the root of these uncomfortable symptoms are not simply saying digestion or what I eat, but rather the hormonal medication we're taking, whether it be through the pill or the IUD to prevent pregnancy, could be disrupting our system and causing some of these other symptoms. So it's always good to keep track of any uncomfortable symptoms you experience and to explore, is my hormonal birth control at the root of this? Is it causing any of these uncomfortable symptoms? Another great thing to keep track of is intuition. And I know it sounds totally woo-woo, but our intuition is all-knowing. If you have an inner voice that keeps questioning if hormonal birth control is right for you, or if it's causing your uncomfortable symptoms, you owe it to yourself to listen. I don't know what your inner voice is telling you, but I can share with you a personal story of my intuition being 100% correct about my own hormonal health. So at the age of 18, I found a lump in my throat. I could feel it. I could see it. And it totally freaked me out. I went to several doctors and specialists. I had ultrasound and biopsies done and everything came back negative. It was just a cyst. Two years went by and the cyst didn't go away. The doctor said everything was still fine, but I didn't feel fine. I didn't have any physical symptoms. I just felt as I always had, but I had this inner voice that kept telling me something wasn't right. So I went to the doctors and I told them I wanted to have surgery to have the cyst removed. And they looked right back at me and told me it was completely unnecessary and not something they would advise doing. And I ignored them and I got the surgery anyways. And per protocol, they sent the cyst out for testing. And a few weeks later, at the age of 20, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Cancer of a major hormone producing gland in our body. And my intuition knew, my intuition knew something wasn't right. And just a few years after that experience, A similar thing happened when I went to countless doctors after having had 50 plus yeast infections and daily panic attacks in just a few years. And I told them, I think it's my birth control. I've never had this issue before. And in three years, I've had 50 yeast infections and daily anxiety and panic attacks. And they told me straight to my face that that wasn't possible. The pill was not causing it. And a few months later, Per my intuition, I went off of the birth control pill. And within a few months, the yeast infections and panic attacks disappeared. It was all intuition. I trusted it. I tracked it. And I did what felt best based on my body and my own inner wisdom. So intuition is hugely important when we talk about cycle tracking. What is the inner knowing? What do you keep hearing inside that you no longer want to or simply can't ignore? Okay. Let's take a second to talk about what you do if it feels like you are ready to go off of hormonal birth control and how to start cycle tracking. So first, choose the non-hormonal birth control method you will use while you're learning how to use the symptothermal method of natural birth control. You'll also need to choose a non-hormonal method, even if you have no plans of using the symptothermal method. And it's important to note, again, that the non-hormonal copper IUD is not compatible with the symptothermal method because of how it thickens cervical fluid and hides the vital cervical fluid signs that we use in the symptothermal method. 
So the method I most commonly see being chosen and advocate for tends to be condoms. But we also have diaphragms and the pullout method. And I advocate for clients to use at least two of these methods at the same time for greater efficacy. So that means using condoms and a diaphragm, using condoms and pulling out, or diaphragms and pulling out, choosing two methods, neither one of which is relying on the symptothermal method, even though you're learning it at the same time, taking time to learn the method and relying on a separate barrier, non-hormonal method to prevent pregnancy while you build that confidence and get really comfortable using the cycle tracking method. So the second thing I advise when choosing to go off of hormonal birth control is set the date. Literally get out a pen and write it on the calendar. When is your last day of hormonal birth control? Plan ahead of time. Finish out your last birth control pill pack. Schedule your IUD removal, meet with your doctor, and be prepared for pushback. Doctors are skilled in hormonal birth control options and are not taught how to use or teach cycle tracking methods of natural birth control in medical or nursing school. Therefore, they almost always advocate for using hormonal methods since it's what they know best. And you are 100% allowed to choose the method that is best for you. And you're 100% allowed to say to your doctor, hormonal birth control is not the best path for me. So be prepared to advocate for yourself and for your decision. And step three, meet with a fertility awareness instructor. It's what we're here for. We are the ones who are trained to use and teach cycle tracking methods of natural birth control. All of the efficacy studies to date on the symptothermal method are based on working with a trained instructor. I mean, you wouldn't take the birth control pill or go on the IUD without meeting with a doctor first to discuss symptoms, side effects, best practices, or what to expect. And the same goes for using natural birth control. Meeting with a fertility awareness instructor should be your first stop. You don't have to, nor should you do it alone. We are here to help and we're trained to help you have the best experience possible as you transition from hormonal birth control and start using natural cycle tracking birth control. 